Welcome to Extra Time. Sid and Ian are with us, as is Craig. But the first question for you, Stevie. Right. Ten million dollars or Liverpool win the Premier League? Ten million for what? You would have. You got the choice. Ten million dollars <laughs> or Liverpool win the Premier League? It's not even a. It's not even a debate. <laughs> really? Is that a serious question? <laughs> all right. Way, I'm, I'm off. I'll see you later. Hold on, hold on. How, how low do we go? Hold on. Take the zero off the end. <laughs> One million. <laughs> Correct. And then half it. <laughs> well, you've got to start thinking. For 10? No, it's not. It's 10. Okay, right. Because they're going, to, they're going to win it. They're going to win it eventually. So what about $100? <laughs> no. $100 or Liverpool win the league? Of course you Liverpool win the league. You would... All right, what about, what about yeah. free shepherd's pie for life? <laughs> oh, well, that's different completely. That's, uh, a, that, that's, that's a different it. argument. Ian, Portsmouth win the league. How much? How much price would you put on that? Ooh, uh, at least... Uh, Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> hold, on, hold on a sec. What league? They're in the no, th no, no, Come on, let, right let's now. be real. This is this is like ESPN FC's version of indecent proposal, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what league are they in though? Ian, what league are they in right now? Are they in the uh, uh, conference? Portsmouth are in League One at the moment. They, they they fell all the way down from the Premier League with oh. all their financial crisis and problems. The all the way down to the fourth tier, gone up to the third tier, and are hoping to get up to the next one, but it might take time. What about Real Oviedo, Sid? <laughs> oh, wow. OK. Um, <laughs> look, look, he's thinking. Oh, he is, eh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, because, I mean, the, the thing, I mean, Steve, Steve's question, obviously, I mean, you know, as he, was, he rightly says, Liverpool will probably win the league at some point anyway. Real Oviedo will literally never, ever, ever win the league. So I'd take Real Oviedo winning the league. Well, over what? $10 million. Over $10 million? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you part owner? I'll tell you what, for $10 million, <laughs> for $10 million, the way things are going, I'll be able to buy Neymar and give him to Real Oviedo anyway. Perfect. That'll yeah. work. Neymar Why would you want to do that? What are you looking at me for? <laughs> I'm, I'm taking $5 because I don't care who wins. <laughs> yeah, you can take anything. I don't care. Uh, did you ever ignore an instruction from uh, your coach? Oh, from every game. Yeah. It's called the rubber ear. Right. <laughs> you could blame the crowd. Shouting on like that. So what would they be shouting? Like what's well, I don't know, I'll just switch off. Yeah? Yeah. Stevie? I can't imagine you ignoring yeah. Ronnie Moran that much if he's... Well, you couldn't. It was, what you, all you were wishing for was the second half. Because you can get away over the other side right. and they kind of get at you. Did you ignore any? No. Are you a good boy? No. Once, I was telling once, I was... once ignored... So there's basically, a, there's basically a rule, you don't go out two nights for again. <laughs> I'm surprised you ignored that rule. What's that got to do with the Well, he said, did you, did you ignore any instruction? The instruction was, you don't go out two nights no, for again. No, but it meant again. during the game. It meant during the game, but that's oh, all right. Sorry. All right, I'll not tell you the story, then. Yeah, no, we'd like to, no, we'd like to. I, didn't honestly, ignore it. I did it once. Right. I went out on a Monday night, we were playing Wimbledon away on the Wednesday, and I went out with my missus. There's something to eat. And for some reason, I will leash phone my house and got the babysitter. The only time I ever did it, I swear. Yeah, but you might have been out having like... But you're out with... You, you might have said that, but he You might have been at the cinema. I gave him one of them. <laughs> well, we just went for something to eat and had a couple of beers. Oh, I see, yeah. He's no stupid. Right. I don't go for a couple of beers. No, that's true. I probably did seven or eight, which is too many. I ignored well, one instruction. I'm sure you on a Wednesday. <laughs> I was trying like a bear. I used to ignore quite a bit during games. Depending on how the game was going. Mm. The game was going well, you take a bit on board, change things. If it's going badly and you know it's it's not going to change, you just, just get the rubber ear. Guy that him and I worked with. What, what did you say there? Give him the rubber ear. Oh, <laughs> what did you say there? <laughs> Give him the rubber ear. <laughs> <laughs> Give him the rubber ear. <laughs> Peter Shreves once shouted on to me. Yeah. Right? That is true. The old Red Hullet one. Shreves. Red Hullet. Glenn had that, Glenn Hondo had this great idea. He was going to play Rude Hullet as a sweeper. Well, cut a long story short, Rude found himself more up in the front at the front of the pitch than he did at the back. And it took him a little bit of time to get back. A lot of time. And Peter Shreves, the guy that Steve and I worked with, shouted on to me one game. Craig! Tell Rude Hullet to get back! <laughs> right? And I, I and I turned to the bench. I'll miss out some of this and I said, yeah. tell him yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right, because him and Glenn didn't want to right. tell the superstar yep. to get back. And what happened was they ended up playing him as striker, which is natural position. I just wanted to thank Stephen Craig for the free money for the United Wolves game. Both of you backed uh, yep. draw. Draw. Yep. 
Did they? You would have done. Why are guys like Gab and Jules so optimistic about French and Italian clubs, national teams, but Craig and Stevie are so cynical and pessimistic about their former clubs and national teams? Is it a Scottish thing? Well, hold on. How is he pessimistic when Liverpool are winning the Champions yeah. League? Okay, so maybe... So let me go, let me just take a point. <laughs> Italy have been very successful, not, not recently. France have just won the World Cup. Yep. They've got reasons have, to have, be have I, have, Are we on a different... Are we living on the moon here, or have Scotland just not been <laughs> yeah. hopeless? And we got beat 3-0 <laughs> by Kazakhstan. Yeah. So, kind of do wait up, you know what I mean? Chelsea are now in a bit of a dilemma because of transfer <laughs> bans and, and, what, and have lost the best player. I mean... Throw his toys out the pram, bunking off school. Can ESPN hire an American translator for you Brits? I'm Scottish, by the way, I'm not Brit. What do you mean? Well, we don't class ourselves as Brits. But you're part I'm of Scottish. Britain, yes? A part, yes. I don't call myself a Brit, though. Oh, no? Scottish. Right. Okay, well, anyway, you did say Germany. bunking off school. Bunking off school, yeah. Dogging oh. it. We used to call it, call it dogging it. Dogging, skiving. Skiving. Plunking. <laughs> That's not even made that up. No, no, we plunk it. Yeah. So playing hooky is what it is here, isn't it? Right. Is it? Yeah. Aye. Well, need to hire a Brit to walk that out. Aye. And throw his, American. Tro throw his toys out the pram. Throwing his toys out the pram has uh, basically been like a big baby. And yeah, throwing the toys out of a stroller. Being upset and going away in the huff. Ian, when you commentate for a US market, do you change your, your lexicon, your vernacular? I'm not, good Ooh, to, I'm not good enough to start doing that. Oh, yeah, vernacular lexicon. I'm, in, I'm impressed. Yeah, I got told off in one of my early broadcasts for ESPN in the United States because I called it Maryland, which is what, how it would be pronounced in England. In, they all looked at me and said, it's Maryland. It's Maryland. Oh. What, what are you talking about, Maryland? So there's a lot of things like schedule, schedule. Um, so I think one of <laughs> the first games I did, I said it's, it was 3-0, oh, the score was 3-0, and they were saying it's 3-0, you mean 3-0, don't you? Oh. So things like that, but... Uh, 3-zip. That, that happens all around the world. I, just, I saw a boss once in Liverpool, <laughs> and that had... I don't know why it's I long. thought it was Faza Kelly. <laughs> I was like, Faza Kelly, where's that? It's Vizakali. So it happens all around the world. I have no idea what you're talking about. Nor have I. <laughs> oh, Ma he said Maryland and it's Maryland. It's not, I said Fazakerly and it's Fazakerly. What, what, what word are you saying? What's Fazakerly? You're deaf. Well, Fazakerly's a place in Liverpool. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, oh, thanks, exactly. The audience will really look at what I said. <laughs> I, told and you, and I, said all, I said it happens all around the world, right? <laughs> He's laughing at <laughs> How would anyone know what Vizakli is? Well, I just told you, it's a place but, in Liverpool. Right. And I called it Fazakeli. Okay. But it's not Fazakeli. Right. It's pronounced <laughs> Fazakeli. <laughs> I thought I was quite... Exactly. Ian, <laughs> Ian, is it me or is it me? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, God. Um, well, do you want me to ask Sid? Sid, did you speak American when you were here? On your big old trip down the West Coast? Did. No, I don't think so. I, I found myself probably slightly altering the way I was speaking, but I'm not really... Mostly I just spoke American to annoy the English people I was with in what oh. I believe was an American accent, but of course wasn't, <laughs> but was just very, very irritating. D did you reach out to anybody? I didn't reach out to anybody, no. You've got to reach <laughs> out know. over here. You've got to reach out. You've got to reach out, yeah. Awesome. I'm reaching out to you. You mean you're phoning? Right, OK. Reaching out. Has anyone tried in and out <laughs> Did you try in and out on your travels? What's in and out Burgos. No, 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 but I, I, I saw it on the first day, right? And I must confess, mm. I thought it was an extraordinary name for a place where you get food. I mean, it suggests that food's really not very good if it just comes <laughs> in and goes out. I mean, it just it didn't seem like... It really didn't seem like a very good name to me, but there I think you go. that's a conversation but no, I didn't try it. Mrs. had in the, in the van oh, as okay. soon as he saw it. Yeah, well, you'd have been... More, uh, well, Dougie. no, I think what, what actually happened was that I saw it, said, oh, let's go there, shall we? And she said, hang on, remember, the toilet's in the van, you're not going there. Uh, in and oh, out, did you try that in Faza Kelly? Yeah. Hey, Sid, truthful answer. Yeah. How many times did you and the missus fall out in the van? And all the time. Fall out of the van or fall out in the <laughs> van? <laughs> Falling um, out in the van. Yeah. Well, so we were there for in the van for 14 days, so wow. I don't know, what's that? Probably about 140, uh, I guess, more or less. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
car, 14 days in a van. Ooh. I mean, basically, basically, when I started driving, it happened. Because when I started driving, now obviously in a great big camper van, you've got to take those right turns very, very wide and very, very slowly. I took those right turns like you do in a normal car. So you kind of go down a level. Now, when you go down a level, even if it's only, you know, a few inches, that thing hits the floor hard and uh, cupboards come open and glasses fly out and glasses hit the floor and smash and there's glasses and oh. glass everywhere. And so five minutes later, it's like, look, shall I drive? Yeah, yeah, maybe you should. Oh, Good dear. move. Good move. In and out, have you tried it, Darky? I don't know, I'm just thinking, sitting here, thinking this conversation's taking quite a weird turn, isn't it, well, yeah, tonight? Yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> talk, talk, talk about That's Sid very and his, his driving it habits and here. <laughs> It's true. For Zach just... Lee, in... yeah, the answer's no. Right. <laughs> 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 to get through all that, no. Heading on vacation soon, this is the last question, towards the Atlantic coast, but I'm not totally sure where it is. Can Stevie point me in the right direction? East, isn't it? Right? That way. Well, okay. it's, it's not for me, Steve. It's right. west from here. Well, it depends, yeah, where this person is. Well, I mean, where's where this person I am, setting from off where from? where I am, it's east. There we go. I thought that was obvious to most people. Oh. <sighs> oh. That is it, then. You can get... And you can book a holiday to Vazakali. <laughs> <laughs> but don't go Vazakali. Don't go to Vazakali. Vazakali. Oh, goodness. Hey, was actually mate. Uh, you off tomorrow, Steve? Maryland. I am. <laughs> Maryland. Uh, Paul Mariner is here. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.